Alright, so we are back with part 5 of Aliens Dust to Dust, and let me all tell you right now, go to the playlist to check the previous episodes because it is absolutely nothing less than amazing. And if you like Xenomorph, drop some hearts and comment in the comment section as well. So everyone on this ship is basically talking to each other, including the pilot who comes out and says, did anyone see it? And they're referring to the chest burster that just came out and is now running amok on the ship. Now at this time, the pilot is still talking as if she is going to rendezvous with the USS Carver. Now that's basically where they're trying to head to, to basically leave the planet. And the, one of the administrative assistants for... and. The, one of the administrative assistants for one of the colonies is like, you can't no. do that. We can't put everyone at risk. The whole point was to try to leave the xenomorph where they are so that we can go. But now we're in harm's way and we can't bring harm to them as well. And then she's like, well, this is my ship and we'll be all right. Once we get there, we can uh, take it out. Now, I totally agree. Why would you put everyone in orbit at risk because of what they're going through at the moment? Absolutely not. But while they're arguing with each other, Maxon, who seems to be our main character, sees that young xenomorph that is going through the ship. And he looks to his left and he sees a pistol. And you know what he does? He goes to grab it. And as he goes to grab it, he's pointing it right at the Xenomorph or this young version of the Xenomorph at a time. And they're like, no, you're going to decompress the cabin. Don't do it. And they knock the pistol out of his hand. But while they're doing that, the Xenomorph jumps from the top of the ceiling and onto one of the passengers. And it basically rips a big chunk of his neck and they get an incoming message from the U.S. S. Carver saying like do you copy do you copy what's going on and in the background all they hear is ah and their ship is going down and what they do is happen to launch some protective bags so that everyone who's on board can be okay and they land on this nearby mountainous cliff and they make a decision and the decision is to basically leave the ship. And they had a really good plan. Get as far away from the ship since the Xenomorph is on that ship and then blow it up. And so they do. And it seems like they took care of that Xenomorph, but they also have a passenger who is pretty hurt from his neck being clawed <laughs> out, but they also have to rendezvous with the USS Carver. And just as things are starting to look up, they look up and they see something that looks like a meteorite, but it's not a meteorite. It is the USS Carver that is crashing into the ground and it is on fire. And they're like, what happened to it? And we don't really know, but we can assume that they've gone through their own trials and tribulations. And now it's up to this crew of people to basically find their way to safety. Type in part six for more. I love this story so much.